through the Ferrari corner. No, no, sorry, through Alex Cuvier corner. No, through Ferrari. No, that, that's uh, Peluki. Now they're going to the two fast right-handers. The gap is under half a second now between Pedrosa and Lorenzo. We have a grandstand finish in the Spanish Grand Prix between two Spaniards. It's going to go down to the wire. Where will the pass happen? Will there be a pass? Can Pedrosa hand, uh, hand him off, hold him off, whatever? With two laps remaining when they cross the line, it's all still to play for. How much have they taken out of their tyres? Actually catching up Danny Pedrosa and getting past them. Two laps for Jorge Lorenzo to rule here in the red. They're up at turn one. Point three now the gap between them, but that doesn't matter. He's right on Danny Pedrosa's tail now, and he surely will have a chance to go through. Pedrosa must be struggling with those tyres, struggling with the problems with the front end he's had on his Honda all year. And Jorge Lorenzo, early on in the race, is really by the his side. And here comes Lorenzo. Maybe a shot move in Cito Pons' corner, or will it be down the end of the straight? Has he got the grunts on the Yamaha to match the Honda? This is where he's going to try it. He's going to get out of here quick. The Cito Pons' corner, not close enough at the moment. Once they get a little bit closer before here they he break for a He's he on comes. the brakes. Up the inside comes Jorge Lorenzo. Will he make it stick? Will Pedrosa run it wide? Pedrosa just hangs in there. Oh, no, he almost touched. He almost touched on the exit from the corner. Lorenzo took the tight line, held his bike in there. Such bravery from the Mallorcan. But Pedrosa holds him off. There's going to be another chance, surely. Could all end in tears. Who said Danny Pedrosa can't scrap it out at the front? And a real end wiggle there from the Honda from Danny Pedrosa. Lorenzo's got to do it all over again. This is going to be an amazing last lap with the fans all on their feet. Uh, Valentino Rossi 1.3 seconds behind is a spectator but could pick up the pieces if there was any collision between these two. They're almost was at turn six on, uh, on that last lap at the end of the back straight. Now down into Decados. is there a chance for a move? This was it. Lorenzo very, very tight, just kept his bike in there once again, the exit. Oh, and Lorenzo's tried it. That's Decados corner, and Pedrosa hangs him out to try in the corner. Back to uh, turn one this time. He's got another chance for Lorenzo. Brilliant stuff, this is. Into turn one. One lap to go here at Jerez. A classic Spanish Grand Prix between two great Spanish riders. Both of them former world champions. They're at turn two. Full marks to Pedrosa. He's fought off two big efforts from Jorge Lorenzo. Lorenzo surely will have another go, either at Zito Pons as we ride with him, but surely down at Trisac. Even if he has a go at Trisac, surely in the final corner there's going to be something going on. Is it going to be echoes of Duan and Crivier? Is it going to be echoes of Rossi and Gibinau in that final corner? Pedrosa and Lorenzo, the new breed, having a brilliant scrap here. On board with Lorenzo. Here he comes, Jorge Lorenzo. He got up the inside on the brakes. Brakes, who's going to leave it later? No, Danny Pedrosa holds him up, runs it wide. Lorenzo takes the lead. Pedrosa wide. Can Rossi get through? Because that's very wide from Danny Pedrosa. That's going to be the move that seals it from Jorge Lorenzo. He didn't even push Pedrosa. He just let him know he was there. Pedrosa knew he had to take the wider line and try and squirt it out the corner, but it wasn't going to happen. Listen to the fans as they come into the stadium section for the final time. Less than half a lap to go. They are going absolutely crazy here. here in brilliant, brilliant riding from Lorenzo. Three riders across the line within a second. That's your podium, Lorenzo, Pedrosa, Rossi. Oh, and the two Haydens are very close. Without that bit of gravel there, maybe Stoner would have taken Hayden, but Hayden is fourth, Stoner is fifth. He'll be very disappointed.